Hi, and welcome to Logic Talks with Logic.io, where our VP of Marketing, Blake Grubbs, and our expert guests discuss how Logic.io augments CPQ, enables guided selling, and supports elevated B2B e-commerce experiences. Today, we're chatting with John Lairkind, the Director of Salesforce Practice and a Solutions Engineer with our partner, Pierce Washington, about how Logic supports configuration for manufacturing. Oh, here we are for part two with John from Pierce Washington, uh, talking through uh, how logic can make a difference for manufacturers in particular. In part one, we talked a lot about the sales rep experience and how logic can help provide a better sales rep experience in CPQ. Um, what we want to go into in part two here is kind of flipping it to the backside here as well and talking about how companies can use external data with logics, particularly around inventory and availability and things like that really critical factors that play into the selling process and in the quote to cash process um, that logic can help with so john we'll start at kind of a high level you know why is there more often than not for manufacturers a disconnect between kind of what sales reps are seeing in their quoting experience and then what's actually on hand and available for uh for the company to be able to sell to customers yeah, it's a great question. And, you know, again, going back to kind of our part one, um, being a sales rep is not easy. So, you know, again, on top of all the customer relations and the the deal mechanics and now the hundreds of thousands of SKUs to be sold, uh, you know, reps have to worry about inventory and constraints on when they can actually sell these products. So, you know, I think like when we look at it holistically, there there are some business, maybe some business reasons that you may not want to display inventory to reps at all times. But in this new world we live in, um, you know, post COVID, where really supply chains have been disrupted, um, global commerce is really you know decelerating due to these logistic issues. We, f- we find ourselves in really a new environment here where transparency and, and visibility into these different systems um, becomes more important than ever. And so, frankly, you know, today, you know, these the reps were where they're quoting, usually in the front office there, is not where the ma- inventory is being managed. And so, you know, inventory has typically always been that back office process tied to materials, tied to engineering processes, to order management. And so today, really bringing more than ever, bringing those those isolated functions together and bringing forward that value of understanding inventory and planning um, really helps to reduce operational efficiencies and drive better forecasting and planning processes up front. Yeah, that, that makes a ton of sense. And I think you're right with some of the global supply chain issues in particular that we're seeing, this is only accelerating, right? So how, how do manufacturers go about solving these problems today without something like logic? You know, what are they doing in order to kind of help with these, with these challenges? And, you know, what are, what are you seeing that, uh, the role that logic plays in this process? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, the, the short answer, Blake, is it's a lot of spreadsheets. Um, so, you know, many companies we're working with are managing these master Excel spreadsheets that are you know, sh- saved off to a SharePoint or a, another cloud repository that are managing, you know, bookings information, inventory information, um, exceptions to the processes or engineering processes that, that need to happen in order to deliver that product. Um, you know, these spreadsheets are, are typically buried um where either reps can't access them or you know if they can access them frankly maybe it's too much they don't want to access them or or maybe they don't need to um and so really managing this out of an excel spreadsheet you know it it worked when when we didn't have some of these issues of supply chain and we didn't need to automate some of the kind of functions or or kind of planning functions between you know what was being quoted and what was actually being delivered, but today that's that's a ne- that's a necessity. It's a, almost a commodity for in companies needing to have that kind of transparency and cooperation between those two business teams. And so, you know, here at Pierce Washington, in conjunction with Logic, right, we we really aim to 
abstract a lot of that value from those Excel spreadsheets and really help these companies make that transition away from the static, stale and highly maintained spreadsheets into more of a streamlined, easy to maintain um, single source of truth where that can really accelerate these business processes um, for companies. Yeah, I think that that streamlining and that single source of truth is something that is a trend across all business systems today, right? So let's jump into the demo and show how uh, show what Pierce Washington built out with Logic and shows how it helps to streamline that process and centralize all that to get out of those spreadsheets. Perfect. Let's do it. So here we are back inside the Logic configurator for our cash ATM. And what we can start to see is based on the different models that I've selected here, whether it's the PW Series 100 or 200H, 200V, we have started to bring forward a lot of the information from our back office around availability or availability to promise in really that date function around individual products on when they can actually be delivered. So it's this level of information that takes into account lead times and product provisioning that really understands how we can start to put together all of the products necessary for maybe the you know individual materials or different manufacturing plants of when these products can actually be delivered and so as a sales rep as i'm going through this experience if i select a product and i promise it for you know end of month here in june there's gonna be some unhappy customers that when they get a message saying that the product's gonna be delivered in July or even in December, that's not gonna meet the same expectation that I set as a sales rep. And so with the power of logic and the power of being able to access this external data within the timing of the quoting process, really brings a lot of that validation and information into this quoting process. So that as I, as a sales rep, as I'm quoting and configuring these products, I know that I'm selling a technically and commercially valid product to my customers with the right expectations. And so we can see this quickly as I'm selecting the difference between 200H and 200V, the system is gonna give me a warning understanding that I've selected a model that is with lead time greater than 30 days. I have the information right here at my fingertips to know that this can be delivered on December 18th, 2022. And I can start to have that conversation with my customers to set the right expectations. This is the power of having all of this information right at my fingertips so that we're clearly communicating and bringing transparency to our conversations with our customers. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, John. I think that's a perfect example of how, you know, companies are increasingly trying to create this more connected enterprise, right? Where the back office and front office, the lines are, are blurred in a good way, right? In which that there's more transparency, more data being passed from one, one system to the other. And this is a prime example of how logic helps facilitate that. So another great example here built out uh, by you all at Pierce Washington. So thanks for sharing this. Absolutely.